The Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award is presented each year to the person or persons who have influenced the growth and promotion of Southern, country, and bluegrass gospel music. This award is designed to honor those who have dedicated a significant portion of their life to the field of gospel music, either as a singer, musician, songwriter, radio personality, or promoter. The general membership of MAGMA submits nominations of those within the industry who have been influential in their careers, and they are later voted on by the board of directors. We seek to honor both the local artist who has influenced and mentored the new generation of performers, as well as those from our region whose music has impacted the national gospel music industry. It is our pleasure to be able to honor those pioneers who have and still are representing the ministry of gospel music. Tonight's Mid America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award winner is a gentleman who has been singing gospel music since age four. He is a true pioneer of Southern gospel music, having sung with some of the area's most prestigious quartets. He has been described as the man with the golden tenor voice and has played an instrumental part in the careers of several prominent men in the gospel music industry. It is our privilege to present this award tonight to Mr. John Paul Moody. John Moody was born on May 15, 1937, in Alton, Illinois, the son of Thurman and Lena Moody. He began singing at age four, singing with an all-girls choir, and by age seven was a featured soloist for A.A. A. Allen's radio broadcast. Jesus, hold my hand. Jesus, hold my hand. At age 14, he joined his first group, the Southern Harmony Boys, along with Don Lloyd, Bill Henry, and Neil and David Enloe. Neil Enloe would later become a founding member of the Couriers Quartet of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and write such songs as The Joy of Knowing Jesus and Statue of Liberty. spend some time singing with the Elmo Quartet before joining with Ralph Green to form the Melody Makers Quartet in 1955. The Melody Makers were a regular on WEW Radio in St. Louis and sang throughout Missouri and Illinois. In 1956, the group would audition and be invited to perform at the Arthur Godfrey Talent Scouts television show. But when asked to sing secular music instead of gospel, their Christian convictions kept them from performing. The Melody Makers were a popular group with promoters and were once asked by Frank Stamps to sing at the Stamps Baxter School of Music, singing the school's theme song, Give the World a Smile. In 1964, John was the president of the Illinois State Singing Convention, publishing a paper called The King's Scroll and bringing in some of the top groups of the time, including Jake Hess and the Imperials and the Spear Family. One of the most well-known quartets to come out of this area is the Victory Quartet. 
John sang tenor in this great group along with the legendary bass singer Barney Barrow, Ralph Green, and Claude Johnson with Harlan Gene Jones on the piano. He would sing with this group on more than one occasion with other members such as Larry DeWeese, Gordon Yancey, Jerry Tomlinson, and Bob Schaefer. John would manage and sing with another great quartet, the Royal Sons. He was joined by Bob Brookman, Lowell Patterson, Gene Patterson, and Doris Haley on the piano. Other notable members of this quartet were Tiny Wyatt and Larry DeWeese. When the group found themselves in search of a bass singer, John called on a young Phil Enlow to join the group. This launched Phil's gospel music career as he would join the Orrells and the Junior Blackwood Brothers and later join with his brother Neil in the Couriers Quartet. Harlan Jones would also get his start with the Royal Sons playing piano, which would lead to an opportunity to join Enlow with the Orrells and Junior Blackwoods. He would later play for Coy Cook and the Senators before landing a job with Jerry and the Singing Goffs. John would rejoin their Victor Quartet after the group disbanded. John had the opportunity to sing tenor for both the Stamps Quartet and the Florida Boys, but chose to answer the call to preach. He would pastor for several years in the St. Louis area and host a 15-minute radio broadcast on KXEN called Songs of Praise. He was a regular featured singer both for the Assembly of Gods in Illinois and Missouri. In the early 1990s, John would once again join with his old friend Ralph Green and Hal Curtis to form the Patriots Quartet. John would marry Louise Wright on July 3rd, 1993, and the couple who both had a love for gospel music would begin ministering and singing as the Moody's. This would lead to the formation of the Victorious Trio. Harlan Gene Jones would once again sing with the man who gave him his start, but commuting back and forth from Nashville became difficult, so he would step aside from the group and be replaced by another old friend, Gordon Yancey. I'm unworthy to stand in sweet glory land, but I know there's a place in that city for me, a personal palace from the Savior's own hands now shines in. For my eyes soon to see. 
In 1997, John was presented with a proclamation from the Missouri House of Representatives for his years of service in gospel music and the ministry. John has written several songs, including Then the Power of the Lord Came Down, recorded by several groups, including the Victory Quartet and Victorious Trio. John and Louise continue to travel as a ministry team, singing throughout Missouri and Illinois, and have released several duet projects. It is our honor to be able to recognize the accomplishments of this legendary tenor singer. So please join us as we add to the roster of Magma Lifetime Achievement Award winners, Reverend John Paul Moody. These things you see every day, they just don't happen that way. Oh, it's a miracle age. The Bible said long ago, these things would happen, you know. God's just turning the page. If you just kneel down and pray, let Jesus say, Samson placed his confidence in things of 